Hi guys and welcome to episode 17 of the Infantry Horde playthrough. I was just doing what I said I'd do and run around and gather up some units and do a bit of smithing and I ran into this situation here so I thought I would actually just do this instead uh, basically. You can see here this big circle here is because I baited this army into following me and they ran around in circles for ages and now they're in a situation where they're fighting the Sturgeons that are attacking this castle. Normally when this happens, they break away from the castle and become their own fight, but for some reason, visually, that's just not happened. Um, so before we get started, I am going to just make sure we have as many upgraded troops as we can get. We've not got anything else we can chop in to secure upgrades, just to throw in weapons. We might as well do them. Didn't even get me one upgrade. Um... Yes, we got a few Sea Raiders just while I was running around. So we'll jump in and help these Sturgeons and hopefully be able to repel the um, Imperials. Because if we can take these out here, it helps the Southern Empire as well. Under my command! Infantry! So... Because I'm joining a battle that's already in progress, I'm going to try and keep my infantry separate. Infantry! Make a square! Inf Move! Follow me! Put forward! Hmm. It's not the most ideal place to be fighting. We'll allow these guys and their archers to whittle down their uh, horse archers before we do anything. It's going to make a difference. a lot of arrows and not a lot of deaths, I'll be honest. Oh, okay. Oh, that's coming from the cavalry though, not from uh, the arrows. I mean, I don't mean to say that your archers suck, but they kind of do. So I'm going to move our guys around here, see if we can't bait charge or two. So effectively what we're trying to do is... Oh, he's one of ours. What we're trying to do is um, put our shields in front of these archers to buy them enough time to whittle down the enemy a little bit. There we go. I'm going to take a knee just so I'm not at risk of taking a random arrow to the face. I need to remember that we're not all full level here and the army's not at full strength so I can't be as bold as I normally would be. I know this seems boring, but this is the kind of cat and mouse we've got to play for now. 
And this is the cat and mouse that I would be playing if this was me fighting this battle on my own. Yeah, so their horse archers have gone from 60 yard down to 22. So they've lost 45 guys so far, we've lost 5. So, playing it patiently is definitely the way to go. Sorry buddy, we trapped you on the tree there. Is that the friendlies moving up? Yeah, it is. Right. We'll follow him. So my plan here is basically to be the anchor point for this fight. These guys have overcommitted a little bit too soon and are now paying the price as the enemy cavalry is cutting them down. Oh. We need to find a nice position to anchor ourselves. Here looks good. These are our guys, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's ours. We're going to go after the archers. I'm going to keep an eye out for those uh, cavalry. Whoops. I can still see some of my companions on their feet, that's good. He's one of ours. Are you one of ours? Yep. Grab the shield actually. Oh, I dropped my axe. Damn it.
Emperor really sh said I brought a shield, I'm going to use all of it. <laughs> I respect it in a way. I love the chaos of battle. I really do. I mean, in these nighttime fights, it's difficult to sort of distinguish what's going on. I think we did well there. We played it well. Yay! Holding back our guys right until we saw that gap to go for the archers and then bum rushing the archers. That's what we lose. 13 guys, 6 line breakers, 5 spearmen, 2 malevolence. Pretty much all of all bar two of our companions made it to the end. That's good. Enough. I am your prisoner. I can pay a ransom. I'm worth more to you alive than dead. You're my prisoner. Enough. I am You're my prisoner. I'm building quite the collection. And then the remaining... Right, we'll take whatever food they've got. We'll take whatever horses they've got. Armour, that stuff, and weapons. That can be given to the troops. Some more level ups. Done. Done. Oh, they haven't got enough bodies to capture that castle anymore, I don't think. Yeah, they have. Go for it. I'll help. You're not going to go for it? 68 defenders. Shall we go for it? Oh no. The siege camp will take ages to put together. And then when we finally get there... Um, I'm going to kind of escort this army out now. I'm not currently fighting for the Sturgeons, but any kicking I can give to the Northern Empire is a good one. I'm faster than you, but you're heading to go and hide in that castle, aren't you, you coward? Oh, you're screwed. Stop there, str Forest battle. Enough. I am your. You are my prisoner now. Ooh. You have some shiny people. I don't want them though. In fact, I'll take them. Uh, again, food. We'll take horses. We'll take the rest of it. Can we chopped in for experience? So we are trying to replan our army. Speaking of which, come here, boy. In fact, no. We're going to stick to Sturgeon troops for now, because we need some more. I think that's an Imperial town, if I'm honest. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's a Sturgeon town. We need more spearmen. Done. What's our last update? Ah, oh, nothing to do with us. Uh, 
<laughs> so they're at 62 against 44 now, so it looks like we are giving the... The old empire a good old kicking. Have to go back to Varchag because somebody's been through and stolen all the troops from here. Actually, only three more. I'm about to pick up three more here. I'll take the extras because we'll just dump the, um, the bandits. That's fine. Eight years old. Oof, no bows. Eleven. No, 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 no. First stuff. Stab stuff. That's what we go for on our five year olds. Don't care about ransom offers. Right, let's head back to where the fighting is. Alright, should we just check if we've got any decent banners? Nope. I mean, shield damage taken is okay, I suppose. Not the best. Let's go back and see what Northern Empire troops we can bully. Cowards! Alright, what's the situation looking like down here? You've got an army going somewhere. None of the one towns that you've got are currently under siege. Let's head this way. See what we can find. Oh. Well. We're not at war with anybody else, so I suppose it's time to find somebody else to fight for. Uh, Northern Empire is currently being pushed by Vlandia and Sturgia. Crusade is being pushed by Vlandia and the Azerai. The Western Empire is at war with Sturgia. Britannia is at war with Sturgia. Ooh. Ooh. We like fighting for the little guys. Why don't we go? Oh, I don't want to fight against the Sturgians, though. That's the problem. That is... Problemo numero uno. Um, the Vlandians don't really need attacking much because they're not really doing that well anyway. Uh, I could fight against the Kazate, not the Kazate, the Azerai. Yes, yeah, so we could fight on behalf of the Kazate. Yeah, why not? Let's go and find somebody to... Uh... Allow us to fight on their behalf. Oh, 
Oh, we were going to do some thingy, weren't we? We've got to get some two-handed swords. Buying them would be expensive. Crafting them won't be... Uh, no, I'll craft them offline. Crafting them will take about an hour or so, and that's not something that you guys need to watch me do. But I'll craft two-handed swords for the next one. I was supposed to... This was supposed to be my time to sort of do that, and I was going to record today's episode later on, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity to uh, kick the snot out of the Empire. Peace. Right, we are now fighting for the Kazate. I mean, we could help with that, but then there's like an army of 778 coming this way that may well... Hang on. Oh, they're also at war with Volandia. That's helpful. Wow. That's a big old chunk of an army coming up behind us. Yeah, I think I'm going to dip, brother. Best of luck. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's happening over here? We've got a 200 and a 400 versus a 300. Let's get involved, baby! bit too many for us to fight straight up but if we stick with our allies we should be able to do something here We're on our way. In fact, forward, move forward.
Chopity chopity. Three spearmen, that's not too bad. We're starting to get that vibe of that infantry horde. If we look. <laughs> that. Just an absolute mess of infantry charging down the hill. That's what we're kind of going for. Well, that was a bit unnecessary. Enough. You win today, you dog. My prisoner. Oh, we got some shinies. Yeah, we'll take the prisoners. We'll just flog the prisoners straight away. Actually, the line breaker wants to join us. So does the spearman. Uh... That's fine. The rest of them can be sold. Ah, oh, he's only worth five influence. Barely worth my effort. Just a really low ranking member. That's fine. We're going to continue on. Find somebody else to kick the snot out of. Let's catch well, him. Yeah, he... There we go. These guys rely heavily on bows. Yeah, 48 ar archers. It's not going to help you, brother. On my command! I love how we were in a wooded area and now we're in this huge valley. 
How did that happen? Footman, move! Don't forward! Infantry! Square! Infantry! Square formation! I'm going to run out of javelins at this rate. Ah, for the love of all that's good and holy. I don't want to hit the horse, I want to hit the rider. Right, there's an outrider down, where's his horse? Yeah, so they basically ran off now because they're out of ammo. That's fine. Ugh. I suppose if you wanted to do this tactic and not limit yourself to infantry only, but use the um, sort of the phalanxes to stop you losing men, then. You could put some arches in the middle just to balance out. And put shoulder to shoulder. Infantry, move. Infantry, move. How'd that go straight through him? Move! 
Oh no, it's that one cataphract that's now running for the hills. Tree! Oh, I hit the same tree. Come on then, bud, let's duke it out. You lose. Patience is rewarded with victory. Uh, do we want prisoners? Dunno. Yeah, why not? Right. He's going to sell these prisoners I've got. Uh-oh. 61 defenders, are you mad? Get back in your hole. They are 100% coming for your ass, so get in that castle. You don't have enough men to take it. You don't, you're not going to win that. You're not going to win that. Siege it. Siege it. Ah. Come here, you. Stop there, stranger. Plains battle. He's 88 infantry. He's not going to be able to stand against us. Not a chance. Under my orders. Come on, boys. Let's show him how to use infantry properly. Got one horse archer. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm just going to ignore move, it. If he comes straight at us, I'm actually going to try and kill his horse. It's probably going to be faster than trying to uh, knock him off of it. You fucking peasant. Everyone after me. Let's go. We'll run the men down out of formation because then they won't be moving as slow. And then once we get within about 200 to 150 meters, we'll form up. It's so good. Amazing work. Thanks for coming. A. Is this even passable? Oh yeah, it is. Ow.
Infantry forward! Forward! Infantry! Charge! Footman! Charge! I don't think there's any point in standing on ceremony here. Excuse me, sir. Uh oh. Well, that went pretty much exactly how I expected it to. Oof, I timed that wrong. The Faris are actually really capable cavalry, so... I'm down. all of our prisoners over there we'll then organize them by tier take the two top guys and then we'll fill up from there cool do the upgrades done done uh take the food Take the horses, everything else can be cashed in. Done and done. Gonna go as well. Stop there, stranger. All right, we'll make this the final battle of today's video. My charm. That sounds good to me. All right, this is where we have this toss up. We can either have plus 15% party limit and 50% damage against shields with one-handed weapons for me. That means I'll start breaking through shields in like three hits with a one-handed weapon. Or we take 10% armor penetration with melee attacks for me and minus 20% recruitment cost for infantry. Not really bothered about recruitment costs, so we'll take this one. Throw in more damage versus mounts. Thank you much, Lick. Uh, drop a quick save just in case the game crashes. Hey, talk. Under my command. Soldier, I kill them all. They've got so little cavalry and horse archers. There's not actually much point in us doing anything beyond just straight up charge and kill.
the hordes taking shape, boys. How did he get that far out in front? Oh, I've got a horse now. Got two horses now. In fact, I've got an idea for the thumbnail. Footman! Footman! <laughs> Get the other guys a minute to catch up and then we'll just full frontal charge these guys. I'll see if I can take out the cavalry using my javelins. We should close the distance so fast I don't think shield wall it's is necessary. Trigger! Look at that, it's glorious. Now imagine that times five, and that's kind of what we're going for. A little bit more than times five actually, but you get the picture. Just a sea of infantry charging across the battlefield and you can't escape it because the line's so long and so deep. There's no flanking, there's no nothing. You're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> and most army compositions can't. Like because they've got so many archers and cavalry and horse cavalry, uh, horse archers, they just don't have the the sort of anchor point to deal with such a large mass of infantry. Not a single loss, that's what we like to see. Ooh, I'll have to do the same thing. Dump all the prisoners tier. And the reason we do this is obviously we want the highest tier prisoners we can get. Because they're the ones that sell for the most. Uh, the tier of your prisoner does not have any impact at all um, to roguery skill point. Gains. Uh, in fact, we're just going to take all of this. We're going to take everything. And then we'll deal with it from there. I think we're way overstacked on food. We'll have to go and sell some. We'll have to run around, though, because they're currently being uh, debated. No, 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 no. Oof, I thought they were running out to fight them then. I don't know why I was moving forward. It's not like I can do anything to help. Oh no. 
Depends on what they're made of. Tribesman 59, Light Archer 57. I'll be honest with you. In a straight plains battle, we might actually win that. Let's, uh, let's go cash in our prisoners. Uh, seven district. Choose the prisoners to be ransomed. Oh yeah, that's a nice big chunk of change. Mercenary contracts paying out well. Four thousand a day. Mainly because we've got so much influence, and that's influence because we keep taking out these small groups. So that's good. Yep, yeah, do that. And then we'll go to the keep and donate those prisoners. 25 influence, even better. Uh, what else? Oh, we need to sell some food, didn't we? But, yeah, 629 is just obscene. Get that down to 250 actually. Get that down to 250 as well. The wool you can sell, the hardwood will keep. Uh, this place has no meat, so we're better off turning the animals into meat and then selling them as meat and hides, because I don't think they've got any hides either. Oh, they've got a few hides. Uh, movement speed, shield damage taken, morale shock, mount movement speed. You know what? Where's the boar? No, Colbert is leading the other infantry, isn't he? There you go. You now got a banner. The rest of them will sell. We don't need them. Horses, the saddles can absolutely go because we don't use them. The camels can go. The barding can go. Uh, the high level horses can go. Uh, we've got a lot of money sat in horses, to be honest. Um, yeah. Make some meat. Make the meat, make the meat, make the meat. I've made the meat, but they don't have the money to buy it. Does they have anything cool that we can buy off of them? Oh, we want weapons, didn't we? Two handed swords. Oh, bearded axes. That would do for our two-handed weapon. In fact, I'll take that. And then we'll take that malevolent as well. Sight half of our meat. Some horses, make our money back. How many horses do we need? 174, 55. Yeah, work horses will keep, unless you've got mules we can replace them with. Not space, those three can go. And I'll use the armors for leveling troops up.
of which there doesn't seem to be much to do. Uh, Thirty-nine legionaries. It's a decent amount. Uh, right, so weapon-wise, I'll take a bearded axe. But there's no point in keeping both the one-handed and the bearded. That's a bit silly. So I'll take the bearded axe, uh, and then we'll have a quick look of who can benefit from having one. Call by a. Uh, not really, he's better off. Oh, either. Either or, actually. Uh, the surgeon. Yes. Scholar. Yes. Swift. Yes. So that's a lot. Call by a surgeon, scholar, and swift. Oh no, not all of them can have them because I've just taken one. So. Surgeon. All by a scholar. Uh, and we don't have one for the swift now. But then wasn't there a guy that needed pole arms? Sure there was. Oh, the surgeon. Right. Well, actually, we'll give the surgeon the pole arm and give the swift the two under axe. Done. Cool. Right, that is where we shall end today's episode. Tomorrow we shall continue fighting with 603k. That's cool. Uh, mistakes were made when I had to abandon my army or leave some men behind and escape which sort of hindered us this past two episodes of refilling the army um but we're doing okay we've got a lot of influence we're getting a lot of cash per day um the army's pretty much at full strength there's a few more level ups to be done but not many it's fairly strong now as well so i think we're in a good place we are in a good place so we'll leave it there and i shall see you tomorrow.